Okay, so Origins really uh, something that started 20 years ago as an institution. You've got to figure you go back pretty far earlier than that, and I'd say a good starting point would be 1985, which was the beginning of the TOGA program. And 1985 was when we made our first forecast, Steve Zbiak and Sean Dolan and I. And so we had then, um, going into TOGA, some idea that this could work. And in fact, TOGA, which is Tropical Ocean Global Atmosphere, became perhaps a little bit POGA, Pacific Ocean and Global Atmosphere. Not quite, but the focus on the Pacific and El Nino became, you know, paramount. And made sense. It was the hottest thing around. Uh, and we were in a position to make a lot of progress. TOGA is one of the most successful of these big international programs there's ever been, because it really did make a lot of progress in terms of understanding the phenomenon and leaving behind as a legacy an observing system and ideas about modeling. Now, by the early 90s, we were still um, pretty much the only ones doing straight dynamical forecasts. There were some statistical models, statistical, partly statistical, partly dynamical models. And um, uh, we, some of us had the idea, some of us who were involved in all of this had the idea that uh, there should be an institution that would really focus on making better seasonal to interannual climate forecasts. It began to morph from a straight idea of forecasting climate to understanding that uh, climate forecasts wouldn't be enough, that you would have to think about how to tailor these forecasts so that people could use them. The task of creating products uh, and uh, a user community, um, you know, we began to take that seriously and realize that should be part of this whole enterprise. So over the years, the IRI has built a community around the globe that trusts them, that uses IRI products that come from out of the data library and are available on the IRI webpage. It takes a while to build up an organization like this. It's complex, and in a way it had no very good role models. That is, um, we're trying to do something that was multidisciplinary at a time when there wasn't a whole lot of that um, to use as a, as a model to build on and um, trying to, you know, do a problem that uh, is very difficult uh, in, you know, many of its aspects and uh, from making decent climate forecasts to getting people to use them sensibly to um, even figuring out who it is you want to talk to in different parts of the world. And so all of that uh, took time and sometimes it's hard to appreciate how much time it's going to take and how little you can do to speed up things like that.